Yo guys, it is Chrono Fairy, and I think I may have found Technoblade's secret Planet Minecraft account. Now I know what some of you guys are saying that this is probably an imposter, an impersonator, right? But there are many signs that indicates that this is genuinely Technoblade's Planet Minecraft account, which I'm going to talk about in this video. And of course, we're going to check out what Technoblade has actually posted on this account. He has posted a map, which we are going to check out as well. And he has made several posts, which we are of course going to take a look at. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for regular Minecraft videos. It helps this channel out massively. And let's get on with the video. So the first thing you can notice here is that he was last seen six years ago on this website. And he joined the site on January 4th, 2013. So this was before he became the famous Minecraft YouTuber that he is today. So why is this significant? Well, that's because he has made a few posts here and he has even uploaded a Minecraft map, which we are going to check out in this video because we all know Technoblade for his PvP skills. He's pretty much god tier at PvP. But how about his building skills? I mean, he has uploaded a map here, right? So we should totally check it out. And that's what we're going to do in this video. It's really not a far-fetched idea to say that a lot of Minecraft YouTubers actually have accounts on Planet Minecraft probably before they were even famous. And you can get a glimpse into what they have been posting on the Planet Minecraft website, which is pretty interesting actually, because most people don't uh, don't bother searching up these YouTubers on these sites. But hey, that's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> okay, so one of the most famous examples, this is just to prove my point that this is probably genuine, that this is actually Technoblade. So one of the examples here which we can use of a famous Minecraft YouTuber who has made an account before he became famous is Skeppy here. So you can see Skeppy made his account on October 15, 2016. This was way before he hit a million subscribers or anything crazy like that. And you can see this profile picture is a, basically a meme. So again, you might think it's an imposter, but he confirmed in this video that you are seeing on screen right now that this is in fact actually him, that this is actually Skeppy. And in fact, in that video, he responded to all the private messages he was getting on Planet Minecraft. So that's why I say it's not a stretch to believe that this is the actual Technoblade account because, I mean, even a famous Minecraft YouTuber like Skeppy here has an actual Planet Minecraft account. So Technoblade here, what are the signs that this is actually Technoblade? First thing, he created this account in 2013, like I mentioned earlier. This was before he was famous on YouTube. So there's no reason for someone to be an imposter, right? When you want to impersonate, you usually want to impersonate someone famous. At that time, Technoblade was still relatively unknown in 2013, so... I don't think there were many people who wanted to impersonate him on other Minecraft websites. Alright, but let's actually get into the meat of the video, right? What has Technoblade actually posted on this account? So he has posted a map here. You can see that. But first, let's look at his post, right? What, what has he posted? This is Technoblade's first actual post on Planet Minecraft, which just basically says bum. And this was the thread that he had posted. Uh, he advertised this server called Just Us PvP, right? And yeah, so it does, I mean, if you read the post, well, we have a decent player base. We are searching for more Minecraft players who love faction PvP. I mean, hey, even seven years ago, Technoblade still really, really liked PvP. Some things never change, right? <laughs> yeah, so it does actually sound like Technoblade. So, you know, this further reinforces the idea that this is actually Technoblade. I mean, seven years ago, maybe he has his own server back then. And yeah, he even liked PvP back then. Everything just lines up perfectly. So what else can we take a look at here? So Technoblade made this post, what has an eye but cannot see and is stronger than faster than anything alive. And this really does sound like Technoblade. It sounds like something he would say in a Skyblock video even, right? I mean, Skyblock is the ultimate uh, challenge in resource management and all that. So it, it, it sounds like something he could actually say in a video, right? And this was seven years ago. So again, more proof that this is actually Technoblade. And it's really interesting to see what he was posting back seven years ago when he was much, much younger. And now we get into the actual thing that you guys are waiting for. Hunger Games Norwegia. This was a map that he uploaded to Planet Minecraft. And again, it lines up perfectly with what we already know about Technoblade. So the first thing you'll notice is Hunger Games. Technoblade used to play a lot of Hunger Games back in the day. A lot of Blades and all of that, right? So Technoblade, PvP, Hunger Games, it all lines up perfectly. So another thing to notice here is his pig skin, right? He posted this on 2014, six years ago. So again, this was way before he became popular. So there's no reason for anyone to even copy his skin or anything like that because he's not a known YouTuber at that point of time yet. And again, he made a Hunger Games map, lines up perfectly because he, he made a lot of Hunger Games videos in that time. And yeah, this might actually be Technoblade's actual Minecraft map that he made himself. Which we are, of course, we are going to download and check it out in just a minute here. But here are some of the screenshots. 
You can see that he made a tower here, and every single one of these screenshots show his skin, right? His pig skin. So that further strengthens the claim that this is actually Technoblade's secret account. And he made a portal, a village, and all this. So we're actually gonna download and try the map here, but let's look at the description, right? Why did Technoblade even make this? So he just talks about how uh, he modified it from a normal Hunger Games map, how he turned it into his own original Minecraft map, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool to see Technoblade actually build something, right? He doesn't build things often. But here we go, guys. This is more additional proof that this is actually Technoblade. In 2014, when he posted this, it says, made by youtube.com slash user slash technothepig. And of course, if you actually go to this URL, it leads directly to Technoblade's current Minecraft channel. And this was posted once again in 2014, before he was even famous, before he was even doing uh, Bait Wars videos, right? So guys, if you actually click on this download link here, you can see that it leads to a Mediafire link, which is normal. I mean, everyone uses Mediafire, right, to download files. But you can see it leads to this folder, Documents Shared by Techno the Pig. So just more further proof here, if you click on Players, right, there's a Technoblade file here as well. So that's pretty interesting, right? I mean, it really does seem like we have discovered Technoblade's actual Minecraft account. So let's actually check out the map right now. So the way Technoblade has uploaded this Minecraft map, right, because he uses Mediafire, you can't just select everything and like click download. It just doesn't work because you need a Mediafire premium account. Yeah, so I actually have to download each individual file separately, which is going to take a while, but I'm doing it for you guys so we can actually check out what Technoblade's map actually looks like. So I'll cut back to when we actually have downloaded the map here. Okay guys, I've downloaded Technoblade's map. We are here in Minecraft version 1.8.9. It is one of the oldest versions that I have here. So hopefully there won't be any compatibility issues. You can see Hunger Games map, Norwegia, Technoblades map. Let's go guys. Let's actually see how this world look like, looks like. I'm really excited. Oh, okay. You start off in creative mode here. Flick switch to begin start 30 seconds. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. I thought this was a hung Hunger Games map. I'm guessing this is the red stone behind it, right? So let's actually flick the switch. Okay. The redstone is like going and are we supposed to be in survive? Oh, the game begins in 30 seconds. Okay. I'm guessing this is not where we were supposed to spawn. Yeah, this activates the redstone for the announcements. I like how it says run you stupid fools. It really sounds like Technoblade. I mean, even though this map is like six years ago or seven years ago, it definitely sounds like him. I think we're just going to break out of here. And there we go, guys. This is the Hunger Games map that he has built. Let's take a look. I mean, he built this obviously very long ago. Uh, okay, so you have a lapis block. That's where you actually spawn. You have the typical glass containers, just like any good Hunger Games map will have. Let's take a look at the chests. There's actually stuff in them, okay. He actually put stuff in them, that's great. Oh, there are like spawn wolf eggs here too. Okay, interesting. Now, to me, the design um, of the trees and such looks like any other normal Hunger Games map. But I noticed that this tree uh, is definitely custom built here, right? It's not just bone milled, I think. I don't think trees can grow like that. Yeah, I think he built them next to each other or something. Yeah, okay, so let's take a closer look at the map here, flying around. We have a village, okay? Uh, pretty simple design here. A farm, nothing too special. We have a gravel road. We have a villager here who you can trade your emeralds with uh, for bread. That explains why there were emeralds in the chest over there. So we can use it to trade for bread. Very nice thinking techno plate. I really like what you have done here. And there's more bread here with wooden sword. Okay. Yeah, this is just really so nice to see <laughs> to see that we are actually right and this is indeed Technoblade's actual map. And it's really fascinating to see what he built so many years ago. And here we have another villager, seven emeralds for an iron sword. And he has more emeralds here which you can use to trade with the villager Netherrack. Not sure why Netherrack there. I guess it was just a design choice, right? And we have another house here where you can trade emeralds for an ender pearl. This is the OP trade that you want to be doing, guys, if you are playing on Technoblade's map, right? You want to be doing this trade because ender pearls are huge, they are massive, and they will help you for sure. So that's a village. Let me just try to see if there's anything, uh, anything else here that is interesting or worth pointing out. Okay, guys, I think I've discovered something here. There is a house 
I think you guys can see it as well. This house here is not part of the village. Okay, I mean, it's a really simple looking house, but let's see. Uh, double chest here with diamond boots. Okay, this is the MVP chest right here. If you get this chest, you're probably going to win. Okay, I see another house here in the distance. So the design of this house that I found here is pretty much the same as the other house that we saw earlier. So there's like a chicken here, some animals, and let's take a look inside the chest, a wooden sword and some food, okay? Okay, so this is pretty much a standard Hunger Games map that he built. But of course it's built by Technoblade, so that's why it's interesting to see how he actually built things back then. And oh, okay, this is actually a different design, guys. You can see that this house looks a bit different. It actually has a proper roof, right? This one looks much fancier than the rest, so I'm guessing it has OP stuff in it. Let's actually find out. Uh, actually, not, not really OP. This is not really OP. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Maybe in here? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of food, I guess, but this is not OP at all. But it's a nice house, though. It's a simple yet uh, nice design. There has to be something here, right? There has to be. Okay, guys, we are actually approaching something... Very interesting here, there's a nether portal. And is that a graveyard? I don't know what Technoblade was thinking here, but there's a graveyard. Rest in peace, Notch. Rest in peace, Joe, Cheryl. Rest in peace, some dude that I found. Rest in peace, my shovel. I'm guessing there's a shovel in here, and I was right. Diamond shovel indeed. Rest in peace, my greats. <laughs> you, got, you got that very, very nice, dry Technoblade humor there. Absolutely love it. Rest in peace, Charlie. Rest in peace, my social life. I mean, he really has he really hasn't changed his sense of humor, even like six, seven years ago. His sense of humor is still the same. It's amazing. He he was always uh he always had a sense of humor back then. And it still exists to this day. So it's really nice to see that some things never changed here. Yeah, that's uh, this is pretty funny. This is so technoblade. Okay, so we have a nether portal here. Let's actually go into the nether portal. I'm not sure if we are supposed to, but nevertheless, we're gonna find out. I mean, this is what we're doing here, right? I don't think it's going to lead to anything, honestly, but let's find out. Uh, yeah, it doesn't lead to anything. I think you're not supposed to go through the nether portal. And there's a boat over there, okay? And there's a house over here. All right, let's take a look. Some sugarcane. And that's pretty much the end of the map. So we just have two structures remaining. So we have this house here, which is more like a pier. Um, actually, wait, there's no entrance. Oh, wait, there is. Okay. Makes sense here. Uh, emerald for cooked fish. Okay. Crafting. Um, and a wooden sword with some emeralds and fish. All right. Makes sense with the fish, right? This is a fishing spot. And here we have a boat with double chests here and nothing too interesting here. Okay. So wait, guys. I found another structure here. I think this is the last structure that we have yet to see. It's a tree house. Very creative, and there's of course chests in here with some items. Nothing too interesting though. So I've pretty much explored the entire map, and I don't think there's anything we've missed out. That's pretty much it. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, guys, uh, what you thought of Technoblade's Minecraft map here. And of course, Technoblade, if you're watching this, I know you probably aren't, but if you are watching this, let me know your thought process behind the map as well. And other than that, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already done so. I upload Minecraft content here on a regular basis, including um, Minecraft video essays, Minecraft documentaries, Minecraft PvP style content, as well as Minecraft parodies even. We just do a whole bunch of Minecraft content here. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Other than that guys, hopefully you have found this video interesting and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.